For thousands of years, food has been smoked, salted or dried to stop it from spoiling. But of course, nowadays, with techniques like freezing and canning, we don't need to use those old-fashioned techniques. But we still do, but for the taste of the food. Today's Consuming Passions recipe features two foods preserved the old-fashioned way. Bacon hops with peas in a mustard sauce. The bacon hock will have been salt cured and probably smoked as well. And the first thing I need to do is give it a good soaking, preferably overnight. This will remove some of that curing salt and a couple of changes of water will help the process. Now to the peas. I use dried split peas. They're soaked too. The beauty of using split peas is they have a distinctive taste of their own and they're usually cheap to buy. Once I'm ready to begin cooking, I put the hocks, in this case I'm using two for six people, in a large quantity of water and allow them to simmer for a good couple of hours. The peas also simmer in a large quantity of water, to which I add a couple of cloves and a cup of stock. They'll also simmer very slowly for a couple of hours. Now to the sauce. This is a mustard sauce that's absolutely perfect with bacon hocks and split peas, and it works well with vegetables such as broccoli and cauliflower. It's versatile and simple to make. Into a pan goes a little butter, or the Hart Foundation suggests margarine. Just a dessert spoon or so. Then I add some corn flour. I'm just making a basic roux. Now in goes some buttermilk, a little at a time. Now although buttermilk sounds as though it should be high in fat, it's actually not. Traditionally it's the byproduct of the butter making process, the whey that's left once the butter fat has been removed. Nowadays it's usually a cultured skim milk, so we usually contain less than 1% fat. I also add an equal quantity of chicken stock. Once it's thickened, I season it with a little mace, ground mace, of course, part of the nutmeg, and mustard. I use a little English mustard and a good bit more French-style mustard. A little white pepper and a good tablespoon of chopped parsley. This, and there it is. Once the hocks are cooked, they're allowed to cool in the cooking water. Then they're removed, drained, and I prepare them for serving. I simply remove the skin and the fat, and the lean meat should just fall off the bone, exactly as it's doing here. Now to the split peas. They're cooked. All I have to do is to take their cloves off, and over a medium heat, boil off some of the excess water. Of course, they will have absorbed the flavor from the stock and from the cloves. And once it's a puree, it's ready to serve. Into a jug goes that fabulous mustard and parsley sauce. And onto a serving plate, I put the split pea puree, pieces bacon hock, garnish, sauce, sprinkling of parsley, and there it is, mustardy hock consuming passion style. Perfect with plain boiled potatoes and a green vegetable, and for wine accompaniment, why not a hock? Well, a hock style wine, an Australian Riesling would be absolutely perfect. From consuming passions, bon appetit.